Do you think slavery is in the Bible? Did, or, did, how do we come into slavery? Let me ask you that. How do we get to this country? My brother. Okay, on what? How do we? How, what, what was our way of transportation? Boat. Tra a boat, right? Ships. Big cargo ships, right? Is that in the Bible? Has your pastor, you, you ever been to church? You ever hear your pastor talk about cargo slave ships in the Bible? Has he ever told you, according to the Bible, we came into slavery? That's because he got to teach you for his pockets, brother. Right. He right. can't right. teach you the truth. He needs you to give up that money at the end of that sermon. Right. Right. They come to that, they, you come in that church expecting and wanting some type of healing. Expecting and wanting some type of revelation from God. But he gives you a shut the jive, a smooth song and a dance, and tells you here, pass the collection plate. All right, Hello. give me some of your money. Our pastor's divine for money. That's why you've never heard this word out of this Bible coming out like this. Hello, brothers and sisters. We are Israel United in Christ. We are to teach our people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, who you are according to the Bible, oh, that you right. are God's chosen people. You are kings and princes of the earth. Oh, it's hard right. time you repent, wake up, and understand who you are in captivity here in America. Oh, right. Isaiah 30 and 20. Bring it Isaiah out. chapter 30 and verse 20. Bring it out. And though the Lord give you the bread of, of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So today you're, you're seeing your teachers. The Bible says, brother, what's your name? What's your name, brother? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Bring it on. And though the Lord give you the bread of, of adversity. It says, though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Meaning all of the things that we've been going through here in this country. The poverty. You understand? The shootings, being shot down, being here in slavery. The Lord has given us the bread of adversity. Oh, when we right. get our food, we break our backs. We break our necks working for our enemies to get food, right? Read on. And the water of affliction. It says, and the water of affliction. What's that? That's them tears from being in this captivity. That's the tears for not being able to take care of your family. That's the tears for being here in public housing projects. It says the Lord gave you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Come on. Yet shall not thy teachers be It says yet, yet shall not your teachers be removed into a corner anymore. We won't be pushed into a corner anymore. That's today. Right. Read on. But thine eyes shall see Thy teachers. So right now you're looking at your teachers. Yeah, right. We're going to raise up oh, and come to right. our neighborhoods to tell our brothers and sisters, look, bro, you're not just a nigga. You're not black. You're not African American. Right. You're God's chosen people. Right. right? God chose you yeah. above all people on the planet Earth. That's you're right. a king walking this earth. Yeah, right. so you remember that and come back to that. All right, give me that in Ephesians. 14, right? Ephesians, five, chapter, five, 14. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Bring it out. Wherefore he said, Awake thou sleepest. Thou that read it again. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest. It says, Awake thou that sleepest. But you might be standing right here in front of me now. You saying, but I ain't asleep. I'm awoke, right? I'm standing up. I'm awoke. So we're gonna find out whether you're sleeping or not. Read on. And arise from the dead. It says, Arise from the dead. Now I got a question for you. What's your nationality? We're going to show you that you've been sleeping in this country for over 400 years. How old are you? That's right. For 35 years, you've been asleep, bro. For 35 years, you've been in a dead state. And it's, we're here to wake our people up from that. So, right. I got a question. What is your nationality? Meaning, what people do you come from? Black. Black. But what color is your shirt? Is your, are you black? Your shirt is black, right? Yeah. So are you black? Look at your skin. Brown. Your skin is brown, all right? So that what we're showing you is that is a mentally dead state. We've been calling ourselves black, a color in a crayon box, the color of your shoes, the color of a, the truck, the color of my pants, for over how many years? Hundreds of years. For 35 years, you call yourself black. But that's an oxymoron. It's just like if I say, bro, I'm about to go to the club so I can have a good time. Am I going to the club to have a good time? Or am I going to the club to do all type of evil and, and mischief that I can do? Which one am I going to do? All type of evil. 
All type of evil, but we call good bad, and we call bad good. Earth, you see what I'm saying? Earth. We see a car ride past, it might have some rims on it, you know what we say? Bro, that's a bad car. Well, if the car is bad, what, 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 what are you talking about? If it's a bad car, bad means destroyed. Bad means destruction. In other words, it's a good car, but we look at it and we say, it's a bad car. Right Our mindset has been flipped upside down. That's so right. now you call yourself black. Most people will say, I'm not black. I'm African-American. Right. But I got another question. If you're African-American, who was Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci? Because those would be your forefathers. If you say that you're an African-American, that means you come from the seed of Leo Scipio Africanus, a so-called white man, and Amerigo Vespucci, a so-called white man. So, is it possible for you to come from a, two white men? Is it possible for two white men to produce life at all? So why in the hell do we call ourselves African American? Oh, yeah. We Hello. have been miseducated in this country. We have been, give me Isaiah 9, 16. We have been miseducated in this country. So when you look at this sign, on this side is what God calls you. This is your name in the Bible. Oh, but here in this country, we haven't been taught our names in the Bible. You've been taught that you're a nigga. You've been taught that you're a nigga. You've been taught that you're black. You've been taught that you're African American and every other thing except for what God calls you. Oh, yeah, but your brothers, we came out here today to tell you because nobody else is going to tell you this. Sister, you're a princess on this earth. That's who you are. God chose you from the beginning above all people. Oh, yeah, but we don't know that. We have been going by these names that our enemies have given us. So, brother, on this side, you're known as what? But in this country, they call you what? American blacks. So when you go to fill out an application, what do you put? American black, because that's what you've been taught. But that is not who you are, brother. You are God's chosen son. That's Give me right. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 right quick. Bro. Listen, bro. Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Bro. But thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God is talking to the Israelites. He only chose one people out of all the people on the earth. Now you might say, well, what kind of God is that? That's a righteous God. Right. Because there's 18 nations on the planet. He only chose one nation to be a special people. Yes, he chose Lord. us, bro. That's why we're in the condition that we're in. Oh, yes, we Lord. broke our God's commandments. Read it from the top again. Isaiah, I mean, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. Below all people? Above all people. So God said he chose blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. The Israelites. Right now we go by blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But he said I chose the Israelites to be a special people above all people uh, on the face right. of the earth. Right. But are you above all people right now? Why? That is the million dollar question. Uh, Why did God out. choose you? put you above all people. Why did God choose all of these brothers and sisters out here in this public housing projects to be above all people, yet we are the lowest conditions on the planet Earth? Bring it that is the million dollar question. Do you know why? Would you like to know why? We broke God's commandments. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Bring you gotta learn today, brother, that you're more than what this so-called white man has told you that, you're, that you are. Oh, you're more right. than what these people out here think that you are. Right? Right. You're a king, a ruler on this earth. That's it's about right. time we come back and take our planet back. We've been on the bottom too long. Right. No longer will we sit on the corner and watch our, right. the, our communities be destroyed. Oh, no right. longer will we accept our sisters being whores and yeah. sitting on the pair of arms. Right. We're gonna it's our community, right. thus saith the Lord. Right. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said, Stephen, if you do not, he said to the Israelites, if you do not hearken unto my voice to do what I'm telling you to do, we do to observe, to do all, to, to observe, to do all his commandments. He says to observe, to do all the commandments because he gave us a strict way of life, a strict code of ethics to follow so that we can stay in rulership on this earth. Right, he said, if bro. you don't listen to that, come on. And his statue, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, if you don't do what I'm asking you to do, because I chose y'all, all these curses are gonna come upon you and overtake you. Now, what is a curse? I ain't talking about a curse word. I'm talking about like a curse. What is a curse? Yeah, you call it a hex. It's something, it's something bad, right? You would agree? So let's find out the curses.
that God put on our people and why we're in this condition. Give me verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible says, God says, if you don't hearken, remember in verse 15, Stephen, he said, if thou were not hearken unto the words that I'm about to tell you. Now in verse 32, he says, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What does that sound like? Your sons and daughters being given to another nation of people. Okay, let's, let me say it like this. Do you, have, do you have children? If I came, kicked your door in, took your children from you, and then took them to another nation, not blacks, Hispanics, or Native Indians, took them to another nation and gave them to another nation, what is that called? Besides kidnapping. I know it's kidnapping, but in ancient days, what would that be called? Slavery, brother. Right. God right. says, if you do not hearken, the people on this side, do not hearken, meaning listen to the words that I'm giving you, then you're going to go into slavery. Right. Do you think slavery is in the Bible? Did, or, did, how do we come into slavery? Let me ask you that. How do we get to this country? My brother. Okay, on what? How do we, how, what, what was our way of transportation? Boat. Tra a boat, right? Ships. Big cargo ships, right? Is that in the Bible? Has your pa you ever been to church? You ever hear your pastor talk about cargo slave ships in the Bible? Has he ever told you, according to the Bible, we came into slavery? That's because he got to teach you for his pockets, brother. Right. He can't right. teach you the truth. He needs you to give up that money at the end of that sermon. Right. They come to that, they, you come in that church expecting and wanting some type of healing. Expecting and wanting some type of revelation from God. But he gives you a shut the jive, a smooth song and a dance, and tells you here, pass the collection plate. All right, Hello. give me some of your money. Our pastor's divine for money. That's why you've never heard this word out of this Bible coming out like this. How long have you been? You're 35 years old. You read the Bible before? Twice. Twice. Never heard this, never heard it being preached like this, though, right? Because we have been misled, brother. Right. We have been miseducated by our people. You got that in Isaiah 9? Isaiah 9, 16, I believe. Come on. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. Bring it out. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. It says, Stephen, for the leaders of this people. Now, what people? As we read in this Bible, you have to keep in mind, this Bible is not talking about all people. It's talking about one specific people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who are the Israelites according to God. Oh, we are the children of Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He had 12 sons. These are his sons. We are the fourthborn son. Our forefather's name is Judah. That's why we come from the tribe of Judah. Right, That's who right. we are. All right. Most of these brothers out here you're looking at are from the tribe of Judah. We have brothers out here from the tribe of Benjamin. We have brothers out here from the tribe of Gad, who are known as the Indians that, that were here in this country. All right. We got to remember that we're brethren. But it says the leaders of this people cause them to err. Come on. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. And they that are led of them are destroyed. It says they that are led of them are destroyed. So it says from the top that the leaders of this people cause them to err. Mean go cause them to go in error. And read that bottom part. And they that are led of them, they that are led of them, they that are led of by Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, our local pork chop uh, pastors, they that are led of these people, come on, are destroyed. Are destroyed. Destroyed from what? Give me Hosea 4 and 6. Destroyed from what? You destroyed from your heritage that God gave you. You destroyed from your laws that God gave you. He didn't give them to nobody else. Now in the Christian church, they take the Bible and they try to make it seem like this is everybody's book. That is a lie, brother. Stephen, that is a lie. When you read this book, it is only addressed to the Israelites. The laws in this Bible are for the Israelites, written by the Israelites. Yes! All right? Come on. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God says that my people, he made it real personal. He didn't say all people. He said my people. Now, are those your shoes or my shoes? Those are your shoes. All right. If I come in your house, steal your shoes, and go all the way to the other side of Africa, five years later, you come to Africa and say, hey, bro, them my shoes. Are those your shoes or my shoes? I done had them five years. Are they yours or mine? They still yours, right? 
Right. Okay, let's say I take your shoes and I keep them, put them in a box, dress them up. I might change the name. I might change the name from Nike to Reebok. You know what I'm saying? And then I take them way well over to the other side of the world. When you when you wake up and say, hey, those my damn shoes. Are they your shoes or are they my shoes? They steal your damn shoes. Right. Right. Just like our heritage, bro. That's These right. are our laws. They wasn't given to all people. They were right. only given to you. That's right. You can't right. make this an equal book. This is not equal. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I want you to tell me if this is equality. Because that's what we want in this country. When we get shot down in the streets, when our brothers and sisters get drugged through the streets, we want equality. We don't want no damn equality. We want to be independent, separated away from you damn devils. That's Come on. right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. That thou art holy people. God says that you are a holy people. Come on. Until the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God said he chose you to be a special people unto himself. Come on. Above. Below. Above. Equal to. Above. Above, brother. That means higher than all people that are upon the face of the earth. Some people. All people that are upon the face of the earth. God said he chose you to be above all people on the face of the earth. Is that, is that equality? Is that equality? No, that's not equality. God said that you're better than the so-called white man. That's you're right. better than the so-called Japanese man. Right, you're better right. than the so-called uh, 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 Ch Chinese man, East Indian. You're right, better right. than all other people on the earth. I'm going to give you a prime example. You put us in any sport. You put us in any sport. I don't give a damn what it is. Golf, tennis, basketball, football. You put us in anything you want. Weightlifting, gymnastics. I don't give a damn what it is. Who are the best people to do it? We are. Right, Ain't nobody right. do nothing better than us. God gave us jewels in our, within our uh, makeup that other nations don't have, brother. Right. He chose you to be the best part of the planet Earth. Right. Right. But because he chose you to be the best part, and he gave you these laws, he gave us these laws, we, we turned our back on God. That's right. We turned our back on our God. Yeah. Give me Hosea 4 and 6 again. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. Yeah. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You hear that, sister? The Bible says that God's people, he, he made it personal. He said, my people, talking about you, princess. He said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. But what knowledge? We're going to find out. Come on. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Because thou rejected the knowledge that God gave, that God gave you. Come on. I will also reject thee. He says, now I'm going to reject you. Come on. That thou shalt be no priest to me. Now you're not going to be a priest to God. Because we turned our back on him. Come on. Seeing thou has forgotten the law of God. Forgotten what? The law of God. Seeing that thou has forgotten the law of God. So, now you understand that you're an Israelite. You understand that God's laws was given to us. Give me uh, Micah. Give me that in Micah. Because it says, because thou has rejected knowledge. What knowledge did we reject? What knowledge do we still reject today? All right, come on. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. Are you the priest's lips? should keep knowledge. So when you go to your church, when you go to your pastor, pork chop, law breaking uh, man, when you go to him, it said that his lips should keep knowledge. Come on. And they shall seek the law. They should seek what? Seek the law uh -huh. at his mouth. So when you go to church, you should be seeking the law at your pastor's mouth. Oh, the right. law, your pastor's lips is supposed to keep knowledge, which is God's laws. Right. Now let's find out some laws, all right? Now, when you look at all these brothers around here, you notice one thing that we all have in common, besides the purple shirt? One thing that we all have in common, besides the purple shirt. Yeah, all right? We have on fringes, all right? Fringes. This is a simple law that God gave us. But we have forgotten this law. That's why you go back to Hosea 4 and 6. We've forgotten this law. Read it again. Hosea! Chapter 4, verse 6. Don't go nowhere, sister. Don't go nowhere, sister. This is your heritage. God's laws is for you. All right? I got a simple law for you right quick. Don't go nowhere. We, we're here to teach our people, educate our people. We're not here to bash our people. We're here to get you the kingdom of heaven. Right. Right. Everybody say, I want to go to heaven. Everybody say that, but they don't want to do what's required to get there. Right. All right? You can't just wake up. You ain't going to just die and go tell God what you want to do. God, I ain't do this because I did that. God, I did this because I want you not going to explain nothing. 
You're going to be judged according to this law, sister. Right. We're here to teach you guys laws. Right. We're here to help you gain the kingdom of heaven. Right. We're trying to get our people out of these slums. Get our people out of these ghettos. That's right. We're going to be here for a while, but I'm going to get you this law right quick. One quick law. Give me numbers. Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Come on. Yeah. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto you, Stephen, children of Israel from the tribe of Judah. Speak unto you, come on. Bring it out. And bid them, command them, meaning tell them, that they make them fringe in the borders of their garments. Come on. Throughout their generations. So he said, do this throughout your generations, meaning forever. You continue to do this. Come on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Come on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So these fringes was given to us so that we could remember the commandments of God. Right. All right. We have forgotten God's laws. We've forgotten our heritage. Okay. So now, now we're on the bottom. How do we get ourselves back? on top. We got to come back to God's laws. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. That's we got to right. come back to God's laws. We cannot sit on the corner and just say, you know what? Yeah, I heard it, but you know, uh, I just want to chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to chill. I'm going to do, do my thing. We've been doing our things for so long. Look at us. Once rulers of the earth. You were once rulers of the earth. That's right. Yeah. Look at you. Look at us. It ain't just you. Look at us. But you're looking at men that are standing up for you today. Right. Raising our people up. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Right. And now, Israel. Now, Stephen. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you now that you learn that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? You're not black. You're not an African American. All right? You're not a byword, brother. African American is a byword. Oh, right. You are know, like a bicycle, two. It got, it got, it got two uh, pedals, two wheels, bicycle. You are by word, African American. Two yeah. different names. How can you come from Africa and America? Why are you the only one named after two continents? Hello. Can you name another race of people that is named after a continent? No! What the hell they go? Why are you named after a continent then? Hello. You know who decided to give you that name? Your good old friend. Jesse Jackson. Oh, right. He decided to call us African Americans in the early 80s, all right? That's when we adopted African American. Before that, 1986. Before that, you was a uh, Afro American, a damn hairstyle. Negro blacks. Colored. Coons. Why is it that your name keeps changing over time? Why does your name change? I bet you his name ain't changed yet. I bet you the so called white man name has not changed. He know who he is. He called himself a Caucasian man. English. You know why? Because he knows he comes from the Caucasus Mountain. That's right. right. He knows that. He keeps his name. But your name has been changed 10 times, 20 times. All right? Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org